everyone, this is Jordan from sleeklens.com and in this video I'm actually going to do a review of a piece of software that is available for both Mac and PC and that is called the Stellar Photo Recovery Tool. Now if you want to check this out, I have a link down in the show notes that will take you directly to their site and you can uh, check out more information there, more detailed information. But I actually have a card that I use for my drone. It's my main card that uh, it's a 64 gig uh, micro SD card, and I actually have uh, some corrupt data on it. Um, and it's the it's the kind of error that you would typically see when you plug it in, and it, it's just not reading the card. So either the card is bad or uh, the reading of the card is bad, I guess. And so I thought this would be a fantastic opportunity to test out the software to see if it actually picks up uh, the old data and see how far back it goes actually as far as the data that might be on the card if it is readable. So this is a great way to do this. So first of all when you fire up the uh, the software you have the option of choosing all multimedia on the card so if you just click this on uh, you're gonna it's gonna try to pull anything that it can find basically so uh, videos photos and audio if you toggle this off then you can go over here and uh, dictate which ones you want you can just choose uh, photos or photos and video for this option uh, I know there's no audio that is on the card because it's mainly used for drone so I'm only going to choose photo and video here but again if you choose all audio or all multimedia files uh, you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna do anything wrong uh, it's just gonna try to pull every everything it can. So after we've given them uh, the, the types of tools that we want to pull here, we'll go ahead and click next. And this is where you actually choose the location of the drive that you're trying to pull from. So you can see uh, these are the uh, hard drives that I have connected to this machine. Uh, this one's not on uh, the screen right now, so we'll just toggle over again. Again, nothing over here. Um, and then we have uh, the drone. So this is my drone card. I'm going to click on that. And you can choose to just do a regular scan or you can do a deep scan. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a deep scan and see what happens here. So I have my, my drive selected or my card selected and now I'm going to go ahead and hit scan. And here it's going to start reading all of the stuff. Uh, all It's going to start looking through all the sectors on the card. And you can see it's scanning here. And it's going to take a little bit. I did a, I did do a deep scan. Uh, but I, 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 I plan on waiting the uh, estimated time here, about 12 minutes. So I'm going to let this run for as long as it needs to to see what kind of information it can pull. And while this is also doing its scan, you can actually turn on a preview. So if you go over here and click Turn Preview On, uh, you're going to see uh, some files pop up eventually uh, that show what it found on the card. So uh, let's let's see what happens here. Let's see what it finds. Okay, so our scan has just completed. It took about 11, 12 minutes, somewhere around there. And we can see a summary here that says scanning complete successfully. And it found over 3,000 files uh, in 10 different folders. So it's found a, a lot of information, uh, almost 56 gigabytes of recoverable data. So we're going to click OK here. And if I were to go in here, I can see the folders that it has laid out. And I go in here, and you can see we have a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of uh, video files, uh, FLC files here, and we can keep drilling down here. We can see a whole bunch of DNG files here as well. So these are all the drone images. Obviously, I won't be able to see these. I can just see the file names. Uh, and the size here. Um, uh, I can just keep clicking around to see if I can find some stuff here. But uh, you can see I have a lot of video content, a lot of fo uh, photos that are here. Uh, some of these photos are kind of junk, um, but uh, you can see a lot of content here. So what I can do now is find the stuff that I want to recover. So let's say uh, I will click off of this so nothing is selected. Let's go in here. These are a bunch of DNGs. I'm going to go ahead and click here and I'm going to click the recover button and I'm going to select my destination. So I'll just go ahead and put these on the desktop. I'll just say uh, recover if I can spell it right, recover, and click create, and click open, and save. And now it's going to work on recovering all of those DNGs there. So uh, it looks like uh, just without, uh, just kind of 
going through my files just yet, I was able to get a lot of information back. So most likely, most likely I'll be able to get the information off that I, I lost and I can go ahead and reformat this card and go ahead and use it as normal. So I'm going to let this run here for just a quick second. All right, so and now that we have recovered everything and it's all saved, I can go ahead and click on the folder here, click on lost folders, click on the one that I uh, chose to recover here, and here are all my files, just a bunch of drone images of, uh, of buildings. Uh, these are a bunch of images that I have here, and now I can go ahead and grab all of those back and start editing them or uh, doing whatever I needed to. Uh, so I would say that the recovery tool here was a complete success and I obviously have more information to grab from here on in, in the, any of these folders. Uh, but it was a complete success and uh, it, it actually found a whole lot of information. So now that I got my information back I can go ahead and format this card and use it uh, back in my rotation on my drone as usual. So uh, this is a recovery of the Stellar Photo Recovery Tool. It's a very very good tool, very easy to use. I love the interface. It's very simple and it actually performed very very well so so if you guys want to check out more about the stellar photo recovery tool link in the description down below it'll take you directly to the website and you can check out more information there so thank you guys for joining me in this review this has been jordan from sleek lens and i'll see you in the next one